Today's video, I am bringing you some information about brand new homes that are available to rent. This is Natasha with soulbynet.com here. I was actually out and about today and I drove past the community that I've been keeping my eye on. I'm uh, just waiting to see, you know, who was bringing it and what features and benefits, all that kind of information. And I finally saw a sign out there today and it's actually a company that is building brand new homes and renting it out to people. So just know this is a straight rental. This is not a lease, purchase, rent to own with the option to buy. If you haven't watched that video, please go ahead and check that video out. Also know up front that the rent prices we're talking about are like 1700 up into the 2000s. So, you know, it's a good amount of money. I will also say that if you're able to pay that much for rent, please do yourself a service and look into buying a home before you jump into a rental property. Because if you are able to pay that much a month, you are able to pay for a mortgage. And actually, even if you're renting, you're still paying a mortgage, you're just paying somebody else's. Now, in those cases, for whatever reason, you're not able to qualify to purchase a home right now, or maybe you're just not ready to commit, then I could see going into a rental. In this video, I will not be sharing the specifics of this company. I am gonna provide you this information. If you want more details, please go ahead and contact me. You can call me, you can email me, and from there, you pretty much have two options. One, if you're looking for a realtor to work with, I am happy to work with you. I'm located in the Gwinnett County area in Georgia and surrounding. And then if you're trying to go at it kind of on your own, please allow me to go to you connected and set up because this company does honor referrals from realtors. Like I said, I'm in Georgia, but this company offers homes in many states. What states? Arizona, Idaho, South Carolina, Utah, Florida, North Carolina, Tennessee, Washington, Georgia, Nevada, and Texas. Now in Georgia, they offer homes east of Atlanta and surrounding areas. Those areas include Brazelton, Buford, Conyers, Covington, Cumming, Decula, Grayson, Lawrenceville, Lilburn, Loganville, McDonough, Roswell, Snellville, and Winder. Now on the other end, they offer homes west of Atlanta, and those cities are Ackworth, Atlanta, Dallas, and Douglasville, Hampton, Hiram, and Holly Springs, Kennesaw, Marietta, Power Springs, Morrow, Villa Rica, and Woodstock. Then we have Cap Savannah, Port Wentworth, Hilton Head. Regarding rental qualification, here's the short version, and then I'm gonna dig into it a little bit deeper. The minimum credit score is 550, applicants need to make a minimum of three times the monthly rent. The applicants must pass a criminal background check and no open bankruptcies are permitted. That was the short version. Now well, let's get into the long version. Regarding the application itself, it's pretty standard. I mean, everybody over 18 has to apply. Uh, I believe the application fee is $35 per adult. Pretty standard as far as application goes. If a household has three or more applicants, they will use two of the highest incomes to qualify for the property. Employed applicants will be asked to produce four consecutive pay stubs. If the applicant is starting a new job, they need to provide an offer letter um, stating, you know, start dates and how much they're going to be getting paid. In an instance where the applicants don't make enough income the three times a monthly rent, they are able to have a guarantor on the house. The guarantor in that case needs to make four times the monthly rent. They are going to look at if you've had prior evictions, um, if you owe any money to like landlords, apartment complexes, those type of things, and you have judgments on your credit, they are going to look at if you have any open bankruptcies. They will also be looking at your criminal history. Pets are allowed, a uh, maximum of three pets per household, and they do not allow dangerous breeds. Regarding vehicles, four vehicles are allowed. Uh, and this is really a good one to take into account because if that is your kind of situation, 
you have to make sure that you have adequate parking because some um, HOAs, their covenant, do not allow for street parking. So let that be a tip. If you are moving and you know you have a lot of vehicles, you need to account for adequate parking. I hope you found this information helpful. I will go ahead and include pictures of other homes offered by the same company. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and subscribe. I bring you new videos every Tuesday and my content is basically providing information on all things home ownership. So we're talking about being a better homeowner, buying, people that are selling, people that are renting or preparing to buy. So yeah, please go ahead and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you've learned something today. And don't forget to share if you know somebody that is looking for a rental property or looking to buy or sell, I can help them with that. Please go ahead and share this video. Have a positive, peaceful, and productive day.